Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss uh, a video lecture series on defining uh, pumps. How to define pumps, uh, how to define a pump in the hysis and the ignition environment. And this lecture series has been organized by uh, www.unitoperation.com. So the very first thing what we're going to do is let's go to a problem because in this lecture series normally we learn all the uh, exercises through different problems. The, for the very first problem is uh, define uh, uh, we have uh, water at 120 degrees Celsius one and 3 bar uh, is fed into a pump that has only 70 percent efficiency and the flow rate of water is 100 kilomole per hour. So let's say this is a pump here and uh, here the inlet temperature is 120 degrees Celsius and the inlet pressure is 3 bar and its efficiency is 70 percent that's what it says and the flow rate of the water is 100 kilomole per hour. So all these parameters are given. Now the outlet pressure is 84 bar. So this is 84 bar and this is 3 bar. Okay. So our exercise is how to represent this pump in an high seas environment and we have to determine the pump power requirement and the outlet temperature and the answers are of course given in terms of kilowatt uh, uh, is uh, uh, so many kilowatts or in terms of HP this is 8.238 that would be the answer that means the pump power requirement and the outlet temperature would be 121.6 degrees Celsius. So let us go now to the HISIS environment. Here uh, what we have first we start uh, a new case here first thing what we do is add the component here we have shown before in previous lecture series how to add the components in this case it is water so we add water here so we have added water and then of course we cross it out then we have to add the fluid package which has been defined as ASME steam if you remember in this problem they said that we have to use ASME steam here ASME steam as our uh, the property package so that's what we're going to do so we are going to use ASME steam so here we add add under the fluid package here I will show again under the fluid package uh, we go for add and then we click on this ASME steam so ASME steam has been selected so we now cross it out so once that is done so let's go to so this one is delayed okay uh, okay and so now enter the simulation environment so we go to the simulation environment and we drag the pump here so basically we right click on this pump symbol and we drag it here in the workspace after that we click on this pump and we name the inlet and the outlet let's call this as inlet and let's call this as outlet and let's call the energy requirement as w underscore pump Okay. and under the parameters here this is the parameter we put 70 percent efficiency that's what has been defined so we and 70 percent efficiency has been defined so now uh, we are going to give the inlet and the outlet uh, parameters so for doing that we go into this worksheet here it can be done so many different ways so let's do it this way in this particular exercise we click on this X worksheet and here of course we enter the temperature and the pressure and the composition so first why not we enter the composition here click on the composition and of course this is pure water so put one and this comes in and this is pure water so we add enter again so that's composition is defined that this is pure water now we go to conditions in the conditions we put the inlet condition as 120 
degrees Celsius. So we put 120 degrees Celsius and the pressure as 3 bar. So we put 3 bar here, go down this drop down list and put 3 bar and the molar for it as 100 kilomoles per hour. So that has been defined. So that's according to the problem statement here. If you remember, it says 100 kilomoles per hour. So the inlet stream has been completely defined as you can see it has calculated all of the parameters in black so these blue ones are the ones which which we have given and the black ones have been calculated by the software so here as you can see if you clear so this is turned deep blue which means the stream is totally defined so go back to here double click on this one and for the outlet pre pressure uh, we know this is 84 bar according to the problem so we put here 84 bar and as you can see this has turned totally green that means the entire system has been defined and this is also turned blue so basically what you can see these are the inlet condition 120 degrees Celsius pressure is 300 bar and the molar flow rate is 100 kilomoles per hour and the outlet is of temperature is slightly reason 1.6 degrees Celsius because of the energy input and uh, pressure is 84 bar and molar flow rate of course remains the same as the inlet and if we hover on this W pump as you can see the power requirement is 6.143 kilowatts so that's what the power requirement is uh, we have done uh, a very basic calculation here and that will show you uh, how that really comes so basically I've just shown it just by using Bernoulli's equation uh, temperature T1 120 degrees Celsius pressure 3 bar and P2 is 84 bar if you just do the Bernoulli's uh, 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 solve the Bernoulli's equation and then of course you can calculate so this my theoretical calculation comes around 6.1378 kilowatt and as you can see here in this one this is 6.143 kilowatts which is very close if you want to see this one in terms of horsepower so basically what you do you go to the tools and you go to the preferences here and you go to the variables here and there uh, you just say clone and then you go down this list go all the way down to power here this power here and here if you click there will be a drop down list and here you go down here and you put here HP so now the power would be now shown as HP in the simulation so click cross it out and as you can see here the power is now 8.8.238 horsepower so uh, that pretty much defines the entire system and shows how to define a pump in the HISIS or the Unisim simulation environment. You can add the workbook table. So for this, you basically right click. I will show again. You just right click and you come down here, add workbook table and the material streams. You say select and of course, the entire thing comes here and we shows that, uh, that for the inlet the temperature is 120 degrees celsius pressure is 300 bar molar flow rate 100 kilomole per hour which shows in terms of kilogram per hour what is the flow rate uh, liquid volumetric flow rate if you and the outlet temperature is 121.6 degrees celsius and the pressure is 84 bar which we have defined and the molar flow rate of course remains the same uh, if you do not want these data what you need to do you click on this workbook and again you click on this workbook and then put setup here and here you see these are the ones so you see this one delete and hit flow let's see you put delete and you cross it out so these things would be gone and so basically this is the information that you would like to see here and everything else remains the same so that's pretty much about this pump and i'll see you next time Thank you.